Hey, it's Roberta, and today I am here to talk a little bit more about uh, the new Zoom course that I'm doing where I teach people how to ask the cards a question and interpret their spreads to get a response. So we had three great sessions last weekend, and some of the people who participated sent me um, pictures of their spreads for additional interpretation. So I thought it might be kind of fun to show those spreads and uh, let's interpret them together, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to share my screen here. Maybe we'll zoom in on this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, here we go. So right here in the spread, we do see a no card or something that strongly suggests that now is not the best time um, for this person to get what it is she wants. Um, looking at the cards here, I just, I feel like she's in something of a holding pattern. Like she feels just a little stuck, although there's lots of room for growth and expansion around her. Um, but I, I actually feel like her personal life is maybe holding her a little bit in place. Um, with respect to her relationship, I feel like it might be a little bit stale. I feel like there might be um, consideration of maybe what life might look like if she was no longer in that relationship. Um, personally, I feel she's there for other reasons than love. And while those are important reasons, I do think down the road, she might have some decisions to make with respect to that. Um, there's strong indications here that a flirtation might be developing in her life. And there's some communication with another man that could prove really interesting. And I feel like, I feel like he's younger. Um, that being said, I'm not sure that that's a significant relationship for her either. I feel like it might be more of a distraction because I think what she really craves is, is just newness, some fresh energy um, kind of sweeping in and, and making life a little bit more exciting for her. And I feel like that might happen later in the year. I feel like in the fall of the year, things could potentially get interesting in this woman's life. And I hope she, uh, she shares when that happens. Okay, moving on. This is another super interesting spread right here. And what's interesting about this is that there's actually a yes card showing and very prominently, and there's also a no card showing here. Um, and while I know this one's really hard to see, um, it is completely about this woman's love life. And I feel like she's going to have a choice in love. And I think there are two strong contenders for her affections in that she will have to say goodbye to one for the other. Um, interesting cards. I feel like one is very solid and very present in her life right now. And I think the other one is someone she knows who's returning to her life and she may be getting um, some messages or communication coming from him. Um, really, really interesting. I wonder what she's gonna do here. I, I don't know, but she will turn her back on one man for another. Um, something else I want to tell her just to be careful with respect to communication, don't believe everything that you hear, okay? Trust your gut, not the words that come out of somebody's mouth. That's really important for her. And I also feel like uh, there's good news coming up around her with respect to increases in finance and some money coming that she might be waiting on, uh, but it is definitely there. Okay, next spread. So while this lady didn't pick a yes or no card either, um, there's a lot of interesting things 
happening here. There's a lot to unpack. And the first thing that I see is that her partner has some sort of romantic surprise for her. I feel like she's in a very solid, very committed um, partnership and that they really support each other and they communicate really well. So that's nice to see. I'm also picking up here, there's some new contracts um, coming up and possibly even a new source of revenue coming in. Uh, I'm not sure if it's her new source of revenue, his new source of revenue, or maybe there's um, a stream coming in for both of them, something they're going to do together. They feel very together. They feel very couple-y. Um, I also feel like with respect to both of them and career that there's some work frustrations for both of them. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing too dramatic. Um, but I also feel like they could both stand up for themselves a little bit more around the workplace. Um, I feel like maybe they're underappreciated or underpaid and they work really hard and they're very good at what they do. Um, and so that, yeah, they may have to stand up for themselves um, and they should definitely, definitely do that. I feel like late summer might be significant with respect to this new source of income. Um, and I also want to tell her that I feel like her child might be at odds with um, a teacher or a guidance counselor or a coach or, or something like that. I just feel like there might be some difference of opinion there. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Oh, better zoom in on this, huh? Oh, this is just a beautiful spread. So the person who sent me this, she is actually the queen of hearts. And so she's sitting very pretty there. Um, there's a yes card there. So yes, your wish is granted. And even more, even more than you're expecting is coming to you. And I wanna tell this woman that it is just as easy to love a rich man as a poor man. Cause I do see a man of financial means falling to her future and great happiness and contentment and security there. And I feel like this is somebody new to her life. This is not an ex or a past lover. This is somebody um, brand new coming up. And I, I wanna say before the end of the year and I feel like he's gonna be really interested in her and they could really start something significant. Um, really nice, really nice. I also feel like there's a woman around her announcing a pregnancy. And I feel like the woman who's pregnant is very happy about it, but I'm not sure how the queen of hearts herself feels about this pregnancy. I think she might um, even be on two minds about it. Is it a good thing? Hmm. hard to say, um, but her cards, her spread and her future looks absolutely beautiful. And I don't even know what she asked for, but it is definitely on its way to her, which is really, really nice to see. Okay, so there's a couple of extra spreads from last week's Zoom course. I'm going to be putting this off again soon. If it's something that interests you, if you want to play along and, and learn how to interpret cards yourself, feel free to reach out, uh, get in touch, and we'll get you into the next course. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.